Hey, it's TV Tech HD, and today I'm going over the LG Electronics 49UF6400. I left a link in the description below to get a great deal on this model, and you can also read all the user reviews and see exactly what other people are experiencing with it. So be sure to check that out. I'm going to get right into it. This model has a 49 inch LED screen and it's direct lit. So that means that the LEDs are positioned directly behind the screen. So given the 49 inch screen size and the fact that this is a 4K TV, the best viewing distance is about 4.7 feet. So this is just the sweet spot where you're going to see the most detail and get the most immersive experience from that 4K resolution. That's not to say it won't look great beyond 4.7 feet. But like I said, that's just where you're going to see the most detail. So this model also has an IPS display, so no worries if you're going to be sitting way off to the side. You'll still maintain that color uniformity and enjoy that awesome picture quality. IPS displays just have much wider viewing angles and they also have more accurate colors as well. This model does have true motion 120Hz, the native refresh rate is 60Hz, but with true motion enabled, the effective refresh rate is 120Hz. So what this basically means is that there's an artificial frame that gets inserted for each frame and it just reduces the motion blur. So I recommend leaving this feature enabled when you're watching sports. For other content, you're just going to have to play with it and see if you like it. If not, you could just disable it because it's kind of a personal preference. So obviously the biggest contributor to the picture quality is that 4K Ultra HD resolution. It has four times as many pixels as 1080p. So you have 8,294,400 pixels on the screen. So picture quality is not going to be an issue for you. You get right up to the screen and it will still look extremely sharp and clear. As opposed to 1080p, things start to look a little pixelated and distorted when you're getting in close. So there's also 4K upscaling, so all of your non-4K content will be automatically upscaled to that 4K resolution. So this isn't going to be as good as watching native 4K content, but it's definitely a big improvement. One thing I really like about this TV is it uses that WebOS 2.0 interface. This is where you're going to get access to all of your smart TV functionality. And one thing that's awesome about WebOS 2.0 is the quick switcher. You can easily bounce back and forth between different apps. So the overall experience is definitely a lot better than the older WebOS interface. Interfaces. And there's also a magic remote, so navigation is just very, very easy and natural. It has point and click, a built-in keyboard, it also has voice commands and a scroll wheel as well, so it's very easy to get where you want to quickly. I really like the design of this TV. It has a fairly thin border so you don't get that border distraction. And it weighs 25.8 pounds without the stand and 26.5 pounds with the stand. For the inputs, there's three HDMI, one RF thin, one component, one composite. 3 USB, 1 Ethernet port, and an optical audio output. So to conclude, I really like what I'm seeing with this LG Electronics. It's, it's definitely one of the better 49 inch smart TVs for the price. It has that 4K resolution, the WebOS 2.0 interface, and I really like that Magic Remote. Be sure to check out the link in the description to get a great deal on this model and read all of the user reviews and see what other people are saying about it. I hope you found this quick overview helpful.